get him out of their chest. Oh, what? Cut him, Cut him, huh? <laughs> What's well, good, Gray Gang? We're out here today, and you know we're doing their first rabbit hunt. And as of now, the dogs have done jump one. So, you know, they've already saw it, and they just saw it again. It's over there, and I gotta go. Okay, bye. Like, bro, I'm just trying to get my GoPro going, and they're just already going. Bro, I gotta hurry up and get ready. I ain't even got my GoPro on yet. My cousin's done shot at it and missed it. I'm like behind the game, guys. I should have had this done last night. I ain't even got it on the head cam yet. The dogs are going crazy, and it just uh, we just got here. We just turned them out, and the rabbit's probably going to run between my legs right now. I don't know what's going to happen. I got it. Okay, guys, I got it. Now we're good. Now I can start hunting. So that was the second gunshot of the morning. That time, he actually killed it. So that rabbit is 100% dead. Now we're just, you know, gonna wait on another one. And then whenever another one pops up, we're gonna shoot it. That's basically how rabbit hunting goes. You let your dogs run rabbits around, and then whenever they cross a road or something, you just shoot them. It's sort of like, you know, it's moving target, so it's really hard. Especially for people like me who like, you know, forget to aim sometimes. It's a really fast paced kind of hunting, like for real guys, it gets fast. Like it'll, it'll be slow, like nothing's happening. And then all of a sudden it'll go, and there'll be every dog barking they'll be running right across the road and then boom there's a rabbit and by the time you see it it's like gone it's pretty crazy but crazy in a good way crazy in a really good way right up there somewhere there he is he went right through there Right at, yeah. As y'all just saw, the rabbit came about five feet from crossing between my legs. Was I really aiming at the rabbit? No, not really. I was just aiming in the direction. There's three so far. I'm not gonna lie, guys, didn't really aim at mine. I just saw, I just saw a big brown streak go, so I just shot where I thought it should be. There they are so far. I mean, I guess. So I heard the rabbit coming, you know. I heard something moving, so I was like, maybe it's a rabbit, and it was. So then it came down, and I was like, well, there's the rabbit, and it's running at me. And then it got on past me, and then by the time I got my gun up, it was on the other side, and it was just running real fast, so I just like, hit fired at it, and somehow I killed it, which I'm not mad. Okay, they're getting close. I'm gonna turn off this camera and get ready. Got him, I think. Ha, 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 Bang! Eat that, big boy. Eat that. Bang! You should have seen it. You know, I mean, I was standing over there. The dogs were over there. He just came walking at me like he didn't even see me. Well, I had news for him. I had a wad full of lead coming straight at his face. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You know, right now I'm two for two. That's 100% accuracy. That is amazing for me not gonna lie guys i really didn't aim at that one either i just kind of pointed the gun in his general direction and about any moment now the dogs should catch up and you know come right here we're gonna name this guy tommy my name is tommy you know rabbits actually smell quite a bit like just straight up cut grass which i mean it sort of does make sense because that's all they eat but you know it just that's what they smell like if you don't know and you already know it i'm using my signature series fanny packs for my shells here now there's one thing i hate and it's whenever you have your front pockets full of shotgun shells and they're just sitting there rattling like guys that can get heavy too and especially with a guy like me who forgets his belt all the time that like pulls your pants down like i promise it's happened to me too many times i put all my shells in my pocket and they pull my pants down it happens every time every time that may be a little bit too much information but still it's true there's no way around that but i've used my fanny pack squirrel hunting i've used it deer hunting and now i can say that i've used it rabbit hunting too
everybody. Get down to the ground. Get down, boy. Get down. Who are you? Boy. Woo! Professional sniper Ooh. right here. Let go. Hey. Don't you eat my rabbit. Here. Put him in your face. I'll take it. I was almost two shots into that one, so you know. I tracked him. I shot him. Then he started doing a burnout because he, well, his back legs were sort of gone. He was still perfectly alive. He just couldn't go anywhere. So then I was like, do I shoot him again? Or do I just run over to him and, you know, kill him up close and personal? <laughs> so I decided to save my 25 cent shell and go get right up on him. Close quarters combat, hand to hand. And I took him out that way. I've only used three shells a day. 75 cents worth. And I got three rabbits. That's pretty good for me. Really good for me. So you know, Grey Gang, rabbit hunting, it went really good. I mean, I I think all together we got seven rabbits. Me, myself, I got three. The thing I'm happy about is it only took three shells to get those three, and so, well, yeah. Right now, I'm actually gonna be going and scouting for me a hunting spot, because actually rifle season comes in in about two weeks, and we're gonna go pick us out a good spot. Look for some good buck sign, because we're either shooting a giant buck or Bucky. But, you know, here's the trail camera. I'm gonna take it and set it up in the new spot, but right now we gotta check it, and, well, yeah, we're about to see what happens. 32 pictures, that's good enough. Oh, what in the world is that? If I think you got a mountain lion? Oh, never mind, that's just lights. See, right over here behind this tree, we got a doe right there. Nothing too special, but, you know, a doe is a doe, good sign. Good meat, too. Right there's another doe right there. Oh, baby, there, that looks like a pretty good deer right there. That's a pretty decent buck. He doesn't look too typical, but he does. That's a snaggle rack, if you ask me. I've never Never saw that deer before but guys his racks messed up like i mean he looks like maybe a nine pointer maybe an eight pointer maybe a small 10 something like that but like bro that rack is jacked up. Now, even though this buck right here, it does look cool and it does look unique, I'm still not going to shoot him over Bucky. That's not one of the trophy bucks I've been talking about, so I'm going to let him pass for sure. And then there's me today. Okay. So, I mean, nothing too special. I mean, a lot of does right here and then that one random buck. I'm actually going to take out this camera and we're going to move it over to the spot I choose to pick. I don't have a specific tree I'm going to put it on yet. I'm just, you know, going to find a good trail and put it there. But let's go on over there and start scouting for some rubs or scrapes or just trails or maybe some deer poop or something like that. Okay, guys, so I'm actually out here scouting but right now i'm not on the trapper shack on wheels i'm on the four-wheeler but there's actually a reason for that you know and uh, that reason is uh well the trapper shack on wheels it's sort of stuck on a log right now and by stuck well i mean yeah, we're pretty well stuck in a hard place, guys. So I was coming down this trail, you know, just going to scout, you know, ride around, look for some deer trails, see if I seen a scrape or something wild like that. And then I came across this log. Well, you know, I mean, I thought I could drive over the log because, you know, that's what four-wheelers are supposed to do, I think. But no, 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 no. It doesn't work like that, apparently. So I drove up on the log, assuming that whenever I put it in four-wheel drive that all four wheels would spin. But guess what? That's not the case either. I put it in four-wheel drive, and what spins? The back two wheels. Like, bro, if you, uh, why? Like, if the front wheels would spin, I could at least go backwards, but they won't even go backwards. And I'll show you guys, too. I'll show you right here. So I'm gonna get up in here, start it up. It's in reverse. It's in four-wheel drive. And it's also in the little gear lock thing. Here we go. I'm gonna press down on the gas. See? It, like, tries to go, but... It just don't go. And I don't need my mule to try to go. I need my mule to go. And this, this is not good at all. Okay, Grey Gang, I'm almost there. Somehow, the wheels just started spinning. And now, instead of the log being under the mule, it's straight up under the mule. Like, at least my tire's off the ground, so we're getting somewhere. Well, I got good news and bad news. Good news, I'm back on four wheels. Bad news, the four wheeler's back at the top of the mountain, and this mule is not going to make it back up there. But I'm just going to keep on driving down the hill, look for some deer sign and, you know, maybe a scrape or something. And, you know, we're just going to keep scouting and act like that never happened. What in the world have you done, Lucky? Like, guys, I don't know what was happening. You know, I was deer scouting. So, yeah, I brought Lucky along, you know, just so she could get some running in. So, she's done semi-treed one squirrel, okay? She ran it up the tree, then she lost it, but she did... Lucky! You're a, you're a squirrel dog. You just treat a squirrel and then you killed it. You deserve a treat for that one. Lucky, come here. You're a squirrel dog now. I can't believe it. Don't go too far now. Good job, Lucky. Good job. She's thinking killed a squirrel. Now it is a young one. But it did fight back, cause guys, I was on the other side of that mountain. I heard her bark and I was like, great. She treated another one. So I came over here, 
looked over and she said, oh, 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 now dang, I think Lucky deserves an Instagram, people. Like, bro, she just treed, found, and killed a squirrel all by herself. And you know what one of my favorite parts about that is? She's not running a mile through the woods trying to get it away from me. She brung it right to me, and she's not trying to eat it. But we have two amazing animal stories on this channel. Number one, Bucky. Bucky's been through a lot, and then the other animal, her name is Lucky, and y'all witnessed it. All last year, I trained her up. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm probably one of the worst dog trainers that ever lived. However, you know, I mean, I must have done something, right? Because she's got a squirrel right here. Y'all have witnessed this, and you know, just like I have a Bucky playlist, I've also got a Lucky playlist with all the videos where Lucky's featured in them and where we try to train Lucky. So there's actually a playlist for that, so you can watch the growth of Lucky and everything that she's done. And for all you gray gangsters who have been here with me and Lucky, as she is grown up it is official she is a squirrel dog now you are a professional guys she's not a professional but i'm gonna tell her she is that way she really thinks she's good and she'll try hard she's still an amateur i promise guys she's nothing special yet but she did just tree a squirrel which is pretty awesome i can tell you right now today is a good day i killed three rabbits with three shots and then lucky just killed a squirrel with zero shots. So for you guys who don't follow me already on Instagram, at Gray 6 I'm gonna show you what I just put on my story and, well yeah, here we go, let me show you boys. I just put this right here on my story. I said, Lucky just killed her first squirrel today. I feel like a champion. She didn't even need the help of my shotgun. She just bit its head. You go, Lucky. You don't even need my help. So now it's turned into deer scouting is objective number two. And objective number one is just let Lucky do her thing and run some squirrel. Me and the squirrel, you know, we're just like chilling on the four-wheeler letting Lucky do her thing. He really doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon, but, you know... I'm honestly very surprised that Lucky did not bite the thing and take off with it. Like, no lie, that was my fear. That was whenever I did get her treed and I shot the squirrel out, I was gonna have to, like, go beat her for the squirrel. But, like, bro, she killed the squirrel, brought it down to me, set it at my feet, and then come and, you know, I petted her and she was happy. And then I took it away from her, set it up here, and she just kept on hunting. If she'll do that every single time, we'll be in business. However, the real question is... Will she do that every time? Or will she go to sleep tonight and forget everything that she done today? Like, that's a legitimate thing. She honestly may go to sleep and forget everything that happened today. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right. And feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up, down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.